Hi, welcome to this month's Chicago Housing Market Update. I'm Ann Rossley, and I'm bringing to you statistics for what's happening in Chicago through January of 2021. We've got all kinds of good news for you. The first piece of good news is this. Median prices continue to rise along Chicago's lakefront communities, whereas the bottom of the market was 2012 with the median sales price of 311 today. Through January 2021, our median sales price is 440000 This is a quick map to show you where we're talking. We're basically talking from the South Loop up to Edgewater, the communities in between, as well as those immediately to the West. Let's talk condo sales for a moment. Condo sales have been going up. In fact, the average, excuse me, the median sales price is 398000 That is a 6.1 increase over January of 2020. Single family homes are steady at a million fifty. It was flat compared to January of 2020. And you'll see that they go up a little, down a little, but it's been a good increase since 2012. Total volume for 2020 was off versus 2019, uh, 6 million seven in these communities versus almost 7 million. But you'll see that that decline of 3% is not that far off uh, given the fact that we had a six week shutdown and people were a little bit afraid to go looking at homes given COVID. This graph shows us properties under contract by month from 2018 until today. And good news, 1,237 properties went under contract in January of 2021. That is up 31% versus the previous year. And you'll see that in December, we had 798 properties go under contract, but uh, we had 1,237, a phenomenal January. Now, Properties for sale, we have not many properties for sale right now. The high of 7,400 in September is compared to the low of January that had 5,228 properties for sale, month supply of homes. Overall, in these communities, we did hit a high at one point of 7.5 months, driven by the condo market in the loop in near north areas. But right now we have a five month supply of homes for sale in the marketplace. But I'd like to break that down for you by neighborhood and show you how it varies. You can see here, the red line is the Chicago loop, which is the slowest area of the city right now, not a surprise. Right now there are 12.3 months worth of homes on the market. What that means is if everything stayed the same, that it would take us a year to sell through all the inventory that's currently listed given the rate of sale. In the near north, which includes River North Streeterville and the Gold Coast neighborhoods, we are at an 11.4 month inventory. That's up 80. 4% versus January of last year. Last year, it was very strong in the Gold Coast uh, near North area. So um, that's a very high inventory for that neighborhood as well. But if you look at Lincoln Park and Lakeview, now keep in mind, this is a combination of single family homes and condos on this chart. Uh, but Lincoln Park has a four month supply. Lakeview has a 3.5 month supply. Remember, five and a half to six months is a static market. So it's very much a seller's market in those two neighborhoods. Now, if we look at some of the other neighborhoods that are farther away from downtown, you'll see it's even um, less inventory on the market. West Town continues to be hot with 2.5 months worth of inventory on the market. Logan Square has two months worth of inventory. Avondale, 1.8. And Albany Park is coming in at the hot neighborhood right now, 1.4 months worth of supply. Again, this is both condominiums and single families, but as you know, those neighborhoods are primarily single family homes, except for maybe West Town. We're gonna look now at just single family homes and go back and review some of the other neighborhoods. Lakeview, 3.5 months worth of supply for single family homes and Edgewater, which is a very high condo area. If you just tease out the single family homes, they only have a three month supply of homes for sale on the market right now. 
Lincoln Square, 2.3, and North Center, 1.8. Very hot, hot, hot neighborhood right now. So as you can see, the word of the day is interest rates are low. We're like at 2.65%. So it's an important time to get out and buy. Number two, inventory is low. So if you're a seller, it's time for you to put your home on the market. And if you're concerned about finding something to move into, let's talk because there are ways to get around it. Number three, if you're looking to invest with interest rates so low, it might be time to consider picking up an in-town apartment uh, in the loop or near North neighborhoods if you're considering you know, retiring, right-sizing, and uh, sell your home, take advantage of the frenzy out in the suburbs, come downtown and uh, pick up a little property that doesn't cost so much and then you can have your home elsewhere. Or uh, consider just uh, buying a home for investment and renting it out in the loop. So that's it. If you have questions, please let me know. I look forward to serving you. Take care.